what is up everyone the movie that i want to talk about today is deer hunter so if you haven't seen that movie uh just a heads up that there are going to be spoilers in this video and right when i start recording i can hear my smoke detector going off um so just don't mind that but yeah let's get into uh the my my reflection on this film I had no idea what I was getting into when I pressed play. Uh, I've never watched a trailer, never read anything about this movie Deer Hunter. And so my idea is that it's just about a bunch of guys hunting deer and uh, already it sounded really, really boring. But when I finished this film, I saw that it was so much more than just deer hunting. It's the story of, of these young guys who their bonding is by going out having drinks, having fun, and they go deer hunting. But that's the beginning of the film. You see how normal these guys are, just spending time with their friends, with their buddies. In the second part of the film, you see the life of three characters. Um, Michael, played by Robert De Niro, uh, Nick, played by Christopher Walken, and the third character is Steven. I'm not, I don't remember the name of the actor. But you see these guys, now they're in Vietnam. So the first part of the movie, you see them, you know, having fun, partying, and one of them, Steve, he actually gets married. Uh, Nick, he, he tells Meryl Streep, uh, I want to marry you. So you see, you see that they're living their life. They're enjoying their life. And uh, Robert De Niro, Mike, he seems to be kind of like the leader of this group. That's how I saw it. Uh, but then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they're in, in Vietnam in, in the middle of, of the war. So things happen in this war that we all know about, which were very horrific. But in, in the cases of these three characters, uh, you see how uh, the circumstances that they were in were just uh, so terrible. And for uh, Christopher Walken's character, Nick, and for uh, Mike, you know, they have to play this game and even Steven, they have to play this game, which is so dangerous. And you really got to watch this film to know what I'm talking about. But they're playing this game with their life. And and the way that this game is played is you have to put your life at risk. And they're doing this as, as a necessity uh, because of the war. And, you know, again, you got to watch the movie. Um, I'm not going to spoil the whole thing. Uh, but what I really, what really stuck with me is the aftermath. Uh, because, you know, the aftermath really reminds me a lot about me. Uh, not to be, you know, like selfish or, or self-centered. Uh, but there is a healing journey that has to take place after leaving an abusive or a, a dark environment. And uh, when you leave a cult, uh, <laughs> you got to retake your life. And, and that's kind of hard, taking your life back, owning yourself, uh, finding your identity. Uh, these are things which the characters have to face after leaving the war, after uh, leaving Vietnam. You see the effects of, of war, what it has on them. And on Nick especially, you see the effects of, of that game that they were playing in Vietnam that one where you risk your life, you really see how it just changed his life. Uh, because in the first part of the movie, you see him wanting to get married with Meryl Streep. And then in that second part after the war, uh, during the war, you see him uh, just lose his identity. Even with Steven, you see him just, just lose himself. And this is what happens in cults in many cases, not in all, but in many cases, you lose your identity. You don't know who you are. Yes, you exist. Yes, you move and breathe. But who are you? That, that, was, a hard, that was hard for me to, to identify when I first left uh, that place because someone asked me, well, who are you? Can you explain yourself? Like, can you explain to me who you are? What are your likes? your dislikes and I was like mm, I don't know and there was something that Steven said 
in like towards the end of the movie because he's he's at a hospital and now it's time for him to go back but he's afraid to go back to the world he he, he got married in the beginning of the film remember remember but now he's back home in the united states and he doesn't want to go home and so mike robert de niro is like dude you gotta go home and steven says something that really struck me he said i don't fit in and that's exactly what the cult wanted us to feel because they would tell us if you leave us you're going to be a misfit and they repeated it over and over and over it becomes hypnotic and it stays in your mind and so when he said that i was like holy crap that's how i felt and that's how many of the ex-members feel that we don't fit in this world what's the point of going back to this world where we don't fit, we're not welcome. We don't know how to live this life anymore. What's the point? And Christopher Walken's character was actually, um, he's different because you see him getting pushed in this game. And I guess all that trauma afterwards, he could have left and gone back home to the United States. And there's a part where he's at the hospital and he's about to call Meryl Streep, but then he hangs up the phone. He's like, forget it. And then he goes back uh, looking for places to play this game. And, and it's such a dangerous game, but why is he doing it? I think he's doing it because he sees no more value in his life. And that's, again, what do the cult want us to feel? How do they want us to feel? They want us to feel that without them, there's no value to our life. So like we have this dependency on them, on the leadership, and it's like, why are we going to leave? Why are we going to go back home? It's like, I don't know what to do if I go back home. At least here, you know, I'm, I'm a zero. I'm a nobody. But hey, at least uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting fed. At least I have a place to stay. And so his life was pretty much dissolved already right after the war. He's playing this, this violent game. But at that time already... His life meant nothing to him anymore. There's no point. There's no point of living. And that's sadly um, the feeling that many people, including myself, get after that whole call experience was done. It's like, what the hell's up? What, what am I going to do with my life? I can't live without them. And so, sadly, uh, there can be many people who end their suffering, if you know what I mean, which is very sad. But then let's move on to Robert De Niro's character, Mike. Um, Mike, he seems to be more normal, but there's a part there where they're they're de they're doing their deer hunting, and yet he can't finish the act. And if you look in the beginning of the film, you know he was always gun ho, like let's go, let's do it. And so you see, like even after everything, although on the surface he looks normal, he looks like nothing really affected him you see that he's not able to do the things that he used to do and he's struggling and then he's trying to wonder where the heck is is nikki um again christopher walken's character and he finds out that he's still in vietnam playing this game and so you see robert de niro wanting to go back to rescue Christopher Walken rescue Nick and I I think that there is this guilt because in cults sometimes and I've been watching a lot of cult shows um, there's sometimes you got to do stuff that later on in life you're going to be feeling uh, very guilty about you're going to be feeling uh, remorse and I said like, why did I do those things and so you know going back to the second part of the film where you see Mike pushing Nick to play this game. He's like, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. I think that maybe he felt some guilt into pressuring him uh, because now his friend is stuck in Vietnam. He's he's gone and, and so he goes back to rescue him. And I'm gonna end that part of the review there. But uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because uh, the healing journey of a person it can be so complicated because, you know, they were all in the same boat. They all came from the uh, same background where they'd go deer hunting and they were friends and they were buddies. They go out drinking. 
and then in the middle of the film they're in that same that same boat again where they're at the war they're uh with the same captors but the effects on each person is different so not everyone is going to be the same not everyone's healing journey is going to be the same and sadly uh, many people don't even find healing uh, so i just wanted to end it there hopefully you found this video to be um, interesting uh, if you really like to uh, watch my videos you can please uh, feel free to like subscribe and i have a patreon um, if you want to help me out that'll be uh, i'll be so grateful as it helps me to pay the bills and you know to live my life pay gas um, I have a Patreon where you can help out with uh, $5 a month or uh, I have a little tip jar that you can check in on my link tree. Uh, also, uh, feel free to subscribe and that helps me out. So thank you all so much and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Peace out.